Have your application in the cloud accessible from anywhere and anytime is one of the greatest conveniences, isn't it? But you need to keep in mind to protect your applications for potential threats. One of the first steps of shielding applications is firewall rules. The challenge is configuring firewall rules properly so you can decrease risk while you're still keeping the right connectivity between your resources. In this episode, you will learn how to troubleshoot firewall rules. Google Cloud has tools that you can use to verify which flows was denied or permitted. Let's start! If you are not familiar with what firewall rules do and what they are for, I would recommend you to watch the Protect Your Google Cloud Instances with Firewall Rules YouTube video. The link is shown on this slide. Today I'll show you how to troubleshoot and resolve a connectivity issue caused due to misconfigured firewall rules. For this demo, I will use this network topology which consists of two compute engine name, server VM and client VM, hosted in two different VPCs connected via VPC peering. I perf utilities installed to test the communication between client and server on any TCP UDP ports. Let's SSH to the server VM and client VM. Start the iperf on the server to listen on port 5000. The client sends packets to the server on port 5000. Hmm, we are not getting any packets on the server. Let's test the reachability. Run the ping command. It's working. This indicates there is communication between these two VMs. But packets are not arriving on the server. Let's check the firewall rules. Go to the firewall page in the Google Cloud Console. In the search bar type VPC network and select it in the search results. On the far left column, select the firewall. This table contains all of the firewall rules to, for this project. There is a firewall rule that allows everything. Hmm, why is it still not working? To investigate this further, we must look into the firewall rules logs. Great! The firewall rules log is enabled for this rule. This is an excellent tool to troubleshoot. Firewall rules logs allowed you to audit your firewall rules. It is also useful if you need to determine how many connections are affected by a given firewall rule. It logs traffic to and from computer engines and Google Kubernetes engines. You enable the log per firewall rule. This gives you flexibility to only log the connections you want to investigate later. To learn how to enable and disable firewall rules logs, check out this documentation. All right, now let's check the firewall rules logs. Click view in Logs Explorer. Here is the query to view logs for all of the firewall rules. Oh, there are a few nice actions in this log list. Let's get the details of this one. Destination IP 10.1.1.2 Destination port 5000 Source IP 10.1.2.2 And it says denied. This is our flow. Oh, here is the rule. Denied the destination 10.1.0.0.16 for TCP ports range from 1000 to 6000. As verified earlier, there is a rule to allow everything. Ah, must be priority. The priority for the firewall rule that the nice TCP ports is 1000. And the one that allows everything is 10,000. There you go. This is the issue. Keep in mind, the lower value means higher priority of the firewall rule. Since the priority for the nice rule has a lower value, it is blocking the flow. To fix this issue, we can either delete this firewall rule or change the priority. I will lower the priority for the deny rule by increasing the value to 50,000. Let's retest. Yoohoo! It's working now! Firewall logs are an essential tool for troubleshooting firewall rules to unblock yourself and your applications. 
to not miss the second part of this troubleshooting video. Stay tuned! If you want to learn more, check out the documentation linked below. Thank you for watching! Thank you.